John Means was just 17 years old when he decided to leave high school and the family farm behind to join the Navy Reserves. I didn't know what a patriotic meant too much, but I joined the Navy to get away from them plow handles. He planned initially to serve on a submarine, but changed his mind during training. I passed everything except the last test of where they take the air away from you. And I'm sitting down there and I could feel this air leaving, leaving, leaving. I wised up, I said, no. Means you're gonna be sitting on the bottom of the ocean down there. And that broke down the submarine with air, so I punched the button and walked out. And they put me in an amphibious force. And right away I was on that LST 1084. The primary mission of the LST to load, transport, and land men and materials, like tanks, vehicles, and weapons, in support of amphibious operations in the Pacific. Every island that we come to, the war had just been over. We caught up with the war in Okinawa, but now they were fighting 30 miles on the other side of the island, and we went in on this side of the island. So we uh, went ahead and landed and off offloaded our cargo and everything, and we didn't know what they were loading on, but when we got back to Guam, it was some, some body bags for some of those soldiers and some injured people and the medics and everything. We were just little 17 year old kids over having fun, you know, cutting up and showing out. But that's when the war hit us then, and it was serious from then on. They continued support missions until the end of the war. About 10 days after the war, this Japanese boat kind of followed us around there a little bit, so uh, they sent a submarine and sent people aboard that boat. They were starving and uh, nasty and they, they were sick. They didn't have no drinking water or no food. So we got two on our LST. And when this guy was crawling on, he was crawling on with his gun. So I reached and got his gun to hold it for him till he got on. But when he got on, he just walked on off and I had it ever since. The Navy approached Means to switch from the reserves to regular Navy after the war. He took two months leave in the States, then returned to duty. First on a goodwill tour in Halifax on the cruiser Denver, and later on the battleship South Dakota, which was part of the dry deck fleet. He left the Navy in 1947, working first in the cotton fields and later drilling oil wells. He worked for the elder George Bush before his son, the future president, began his political career. With that job, Means traveled the world before returning to Mississippi with his wife and children. For the Veterans History Project, Dennis Smith, WLBT News.